Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today my wife's doing a mountain mural on the wall, tongue twister, and I just wanted to show you real quick what that looks like if you were planning on doing one or wanted to do something like this. We're doing this in my son's bedroom on a wall. We just put a base color on. Uh, I'll leave you guys the colors here at the end, what they are. Put a base color on, then we're mixing it as we go. We're using three different colors, but we're mixing them a little bit to get a few different colors on top of that. To get the lines, we're just using the paint roller going up in on an angle to make the mountains. So I'll show you guys what that looks like here. All right, now the first color we put on top, it's called crisp blue. That's what we're gonna use for the sky. All these colors are from Sherwin Williams. That second color there is, um, what's that color, babe? By the sea. The second color is by the sea, but we mixed a little bit of the crisp blue in with by the sea to get this color here. Just drizzle them together until we found one that we liked. And then we're gonna just use by the sea for the third color down here. Like I said, we're mixing a few that way. We didn't have to buy so many different ones. I'm gonna put, I'll put the paint codes here at the end for you guys. But there's the top color for the sky, second color, and then I'll show you guys what the next color looks like when we get it on. And I'll show you guys here kind of what we're doing. So to get the mountain tops, we're just using a roller here like this. Just to kind of keep them mountain tops kind of fading into the next color. We didn't want the hard line of the brush. Hey guys, another thing I wanted to show you while she's doing the painting downstairs, I'm installing a handrail upstairs with these decorative uh, metal spindles. I'm going to be putting it from here to this null post over here. And I'm going to be using something called a rail zip clip made by Carolina Stair Supply. And I just wanted to show you guys real quick um, what those are. If you guys are interested in seeing how these work, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I go ahead and install these. I'll show you real quick here. I'm going to be using these here. And what this does is it's a little easier to mount these instead of drilling holes and epoxying the metal spindles between here, you can use these to just bolt them and then they slip right in and use these clips and covers to cover the uh, mounting attachment there. So I'm gonna be going and doing a decorative row with a few different designs here. I got the scroll, the twist, and some straights like I said, and I'm gonna be putting it along between here. So if that's something you guys are interested in, please make sure you subscribe. Let's get back downstairs and see how she's coming. All right, she got the second coat on this wall here. Got some nice trees there. It's like Bob Vila. Look at them happy little trees. <laughs> Wrong Bob. <laughs> Bob Ross. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yep, never seen Bob Vila paint happy little trees. <laughs> All right, now we're on to the third color, which is just by the sea, straight, not mixing anything. So let's see what that looks like. Jeremiah's working on the last color that we had to mix. It's a combination of all three colors that we're using today. All right, everyone, so here's the final product of the three different paint colors, but actually five on the wall, of our mountain mural that we painted in my son's room. And you can see here, it turned out pretty good. We wrapped it around this wall here. Uh, and basically, like I said, we just did this by blending three different colors together to get five colors here. And we have uh, crisp blue up top here, blended into by the sea, and then deep deep blue here's the paint codes here if you guys are interested uh, this one here you can see is denim and that paint code there is hdsw232 then we have crisp blue paint code hgsw3327 and then by the sea which is paint code hgsw3344 which it is all uh, Sherwin-Williams colors and we went with a eggshell. We went with an eggshell finish. When I want to guys, when you blend this, when you blend your custom color by adding two of these together, make sure you make enough paint to do your whole project because once you blend it, it's hard to get 
the exact same color if you need to make a little bit more to touch something up. As you can see here in this corner, we ran short a little bit and that could have used another coat in that corner, but if we were too far down by the time we realized this once it dried and if we would have tried to mix up the paint to match this, this second color here, because that's a, a blend between two of the colors, it would have been really hard to match it. Uh, we may try it in the future here, but overall we're just going to leave it the way it is because we're happy with it. So let me know in the comments down below guys what you think about this, if it turned out good, if you guys think or have ever tried one of these. This is the first time we ever did a mural on the wall. We wanted to try to do it ourselves to save the money of having a professional come in and do it. Uh, let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys on the next one. So thanks for watching guys and if you found this video helpful please make sure you share it and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. See you guys around on the next one. Thanks for watching.